First and foremost, sleep is your secret weapon for muscle growth. You may have heard that muscles are made in the kitchen, but did you know that they're also built in the bedroom? Yes, you heard that right. When you're snoozing, your body is busy at work, repairing and growing your muscles. Sleep is the unsung hero of muscle growth. During this time of rest, your body is like a workshop, churning out growth hormones that are essential for muscle recovery and growth. These growth hormones work like little builders, repairing the damage done to muscle tissues during your workouts and constructing new muscle fibers. This process of repair and growth is called protein synthesis, and it's crucial for gaining muscle. Now let's talk about the magic number, eight to nine. That's the number of hours you need to be hitting the hay every night for optimal muscle growth. You see, this isn't just about getting enough shut eye so you're not yawning throughout your workouts. It's about giving your body the time it needs to do its muscle building work. And here's another thing, quality matters as much as quantity. You want to be getting deep, restful sleep. That's when the majority of growth hormone is released. So consider this your permission to invest in a comfortable mattress, keep your bedroom cool, and banish screens before bedtime. Moreover, lack of sleep can lead to increased levels of cortisol, a stress hormone that can break down muscle tissue. So, not only does sleep deprivation deprive you of muscle building hormones, but it can also actively work against your muscle growth goals. So, let's revise. Sleep is the time when your body recovers from your workouts, repairs and builds muscle, and replenishes energy stores. It's a critical part of the muscle building equation that is all too often overlooked. Remember, no amount of workouts can compensate for lack of sleep. Sleep well to grow well. So switch off that alarm, dim the lights, and let the magic of sleep do its work. Your muscles will thank you. Next, let's talk nutrition. You are what you eat, and this is especially true when it comes to muscle growth. Now, when we talk about nutrition, we're not just talking about eating a lot of food. We're talking about eating the right kinds of food and in the right amounts. This is where macronutrients and calories come into play. Macronutrients are the nutrients our bodies need in large amounts, protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Each one of these plays a crucial role in muscle growth and repair. Protein is perhaps the most talked about when it comes to muscle growth, and for good reason. It's the building block of our muscles, aiding in their repair and growth after a workout. Carbohydrates provide the energy needed for your workouts and daily activities. They're like the fuel for your muscle building engine, and fats, they're essential for hormone production, including testosterone, which is vital for muscle growth. So, it's not just about eating a lot, it's about eating a balanced diet that's rich in these macronutrients. Now let's talk about calories. Simply put, a calorie is a unit of energy. To gain muscle, you need to consume more calories than your body burns. This is called being in a caloric surplus. But it's not a green light to binge on junk food. You want these extra calories to come from nutritious foods that are rich in macronutrients. Tracking your macros and calories can seem daunting at first, but it's a game changer. It ensures you're eating enough to support muscle growth, but not so much that you're just gaining fat. Plus, it helps you understand your body better, how it responds to certain foods, and what it needs to perform at its best. So my friends, remember this. Your workout may break your muscles down, but it's the nutrition that builds them back up, stronger and bigger. Your muscles aren't just made in the gym, they're also made in the kitchen. So keep a close eye on your plate. Your muscles are literally made in the kitchen. Now on to the actual workouts. The key is to push yourself but not at the cost of correct form. When you're in the gym, your mission is to challenge your muscles. You want to push them to their limit. Why? Because that's how they grow. Each time you lift, your muscles experience tiny tears. It's when your body repairs these tears that new muscle is built. And the more you push, the more your muscles are stimulated to grow. But there's a caveat. You need to push yourself to failure, not to injury. That's where the concept of ego lifting comes in. Ego lifting is when you're more focused on the weight you're lifting, rather than the way you're lifting it. It's when your desire to impress others overrides your commitment to proper form. And it's a recipe for disaster. Ego lifting is the nemesis of muscle growth. Not only does it put you at a high risk of injury, but it also prevents you from fully engaging the muscles you're trying to work. When you compromise on form to lift heavier weights, you often end up using momentum or recruiting other muscles to help out. This means the muscle you're targeting isn't receiving the full force of your effort. So how can you avoid ego lifting? First, check your mindset at the door. Remember, the gym isn't a place to show off, it's a place to grow stronger. 
Second, always prioritize form over weight. If you can't lift a weight with proper form, it's too heavy, period. Now this doesn't mean you should be lifting light all the time. No, you still want to challenge yourself, but do it intelligently. Gradually increase your weights while maintaining proper form. Listen to your body. If an exercise doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Don't be afraid to ask for help or advice. The bottom line, it's not about how much you lift, it's about how you lift. So lift smart, push your muscles, not your ego. Working out alone can sometimes be, well, lonely. And that's where a workout buddy comes in. Having a friend to share your fitness journey with can transform the entire experience from a chore into an enjoyable social activity. But it's not just about the fun, there's a lot more to it. When you work out with a friend, you're essentially creating a partnership of accountability. This person will be there to cheer you on, to motivate you, and to ensure you're sticking to your routine. They'll be the one to give you that gentle nudge on the days when you're feeling less motivated and remind you of the goals you've set for yourself. And let's not forget about safety. When you're lifting heavy, a workout buddy can spot you, making sure you're maintaining proper form and preventing injuries. They can also provide that crucial support when you're pushing your limits, helping you squeeze out that last rep. Moreover, having a friend by your side can introduce a healthy dose of competition. This can drive you to lift a little heavier, run a little further, or push a little harder. It's all about finding that extra gear and reaching new heights together. Ultimately, working out with a friend can help you stay disciplined, committed, and motivated. It's about transforming fitness from a solitary task into a shared journey of self-improvement and growth. So find a workout partner. Together, you're stronger. Last but not least, be realistic with your workouts. It's tempting to jump in with both feet, pushing your body to its limits in hopes of seeing quick results. But let's take a moment to consider the implications. When you overdo it, you risk burnout and injuries, both of which can sideline you stalling your progress. So how do you strike a balance? The key is to set achievable workout routines. Start small, gradually intensifying your workouts. This approach ensures that you're not overtaxing your body, and it also helps to keep the momentum going. Let's not forget about the importance of consistency and muscle growth. It's not about how much you can lift in one session, but rather about how consistent you are with your workouts. A realistic workout plan is a vital tool that helps maintain this consistency. It serves as a roadmap, guiding you along your fitness journey. Don't get disheartened if you don't see immediate results. Building muscle is a process that takes time. Remember, every workout counts, every rep brings you one step closer to your goal. It's all about the long game here. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Be consistent, be patient, and the gains will come. It's not about being the best from day one, but about being better than you were yesterday. Keep that in mind as you embark on this journey of muscle growth.